नमस्कार वेलकम टू मैथवर्स मैथवर्स मीन्स मैथमेटिक्स एंड यूनिवर्स टूगेदर मैथवर्स नाउ द सीरीज दैट आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टुडे इज अ वेरी स्पेशल वन एंड इट इज एक्चुअली प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग सीरीज इट इज एक्चुअली सजेस्टेड बाय अ वेरी प्रेशियस व्यूअर ऑफ माइंड एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू हिम दैट इफ आई कीप ऑन सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स देन इट विल बी फार मोर यूजफुल फॉर देम सो लेट स्टार्ट इट द टॉपिक दैट आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टूडे द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द टॉपिक दैट आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इज मैट्रिक्स and along with it is determinant okay now the questions that i shall solve today from je advanced je advanced 2019 je advanced 2019 so from the first paper of je advanced in this year there were two questions and in the second paper or the paper 2 there were three questions okay so i don't think that uh, after proper explanation i will be able to solve or I, i mean i will be able to solve all of them in a single video but i shall try to uh, upload the solutions as soon as possible okay so let's start with question number 2 from paper 1 i shall provide the question set in the description and uh, i need this one because i don't have a digital board but you guys can see right here in screen so let's go for it now as you can see from the question here we have to deal with a matrix and that the very special matrix m is sine to the power 4 theta minus 1 minus sine square theta 1 plus cos square theta cos to the power 4 theta and they're saying in the question that this one is equal to alpha into i plus beta into n inverse okay so what's the good then they are saying that we have to find out the values the minimum values of this alpha and minimum value of this beta okay and it is clear from the uh from the definition as it is given there there depends on theta only because the matrix here it is dependent on theta now there is a very old saying which my grandma used to tell me when i was really little that a problem we should think about what is given and what is required okay so this problem given is this matrix and this expression here and what is required it is required to find out the values of alpha and beta we need to find out the minimum value that is the another matter but first we have to find the values of them so let's start it so main process of the solving of this problem is we shall find out this sum the sum of these two matrices and then from the uh from the you know entries from the entries of the matrices we shall compare this one with this one actually those were um, very trouble here this entire is a matrix okay because this one is a matrix identity matrix and this one in mean, inverse is also another matrix so overall this is a matrix so we shall compare both the sides and then we shall find the values of alpha and beta this is our first task let's do it In our process, I have to find this m inverse. Okay, to find m inverse, I need two things: adjoint of m and determinant of m. And what is actually m inverse? We all know m inverse is equal to one by determinant of m into adjoint of m. To find the adjoint, find the adjoint. What we want to can can do here. adjoint of m is equal to c there is a shortcut method of finding the adjoint of this kind of matrix okay and that one is what we do from 1 1 and 2 2 position i mean from the diagonal we simply interchange these two numbers i mean these two entries actually 
I take one one two 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 position and two 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 one one position. Let me do that. Cos to the power four theta and here it is sine to the power four theta. Okay. For this one comma two and two comma one entry, what we do? We keep them as they are here. We keep them. But what we actually do? We change their signs. Actually, it was minus one minus sine square theta. Too, so I have taken the minus outside and then it is one plus sine square theta. Okay. Now I'm changing the sign of these two terms. And then it is becoming one plus sine square theta. And here it is minus one minus cos square theta. Okay. Now those who are not that much comfortable with the shortcut technique of finding the adjoint. Then for them, I am explaining it in detail. See what we actually do while finding the adjoint. We take one element here and find the cofactor of that and replace that element with a cofactor. Okay, so cofactor of sine to the power 4 theta is cos to the power 4 theta. Let me write it. It is cos to the power 4 theta. Okay, now cofactor of this one is this 1 plus cos square theta along with 1 minus. From where does that sign come? See, when I am thinking about a cofactor, before cofactor comes minor. And when I am finding the cofactor of this one, okay, actually, if I, I mean, if I block this line and this line, then this one remains here. This is actually minor. And when minor gets associated, let me write minor by m, and when minor gets associated with minus of i, plus j, I am getting what an i and j, i and j are, so it then becomes cofactor and i and j is what? I call it the roll number of the entry, like this one is 1 comma 1, this one is 1 comma 2, this one is 2 comma 1 and this one is 2 comma 2. Actually, uh, it denotes the position in which row and which column, like this one is in first row, first column, first row, second column, second column, first row, second column, second row, sorry, 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 sorry. First row, first column, first row, second column, second row, first column. I actually changed it in the previous one and second row, second column. Okay. Then for this one, when I'm finding the cofactor of this, first of all, its position is i is 1, j is 2. So it is 1i plus j, that is 1 plus 2, minus 1 to the power 3. And then the minor is this one. So what we are getting here, the cofactor. Cofactor is minus 1 minus cos square theta. Okay. And then let's find the cofactor of this one. Similarly, in a similar process, its cofactor will be this one with the sign changed. 1 plus sine square theta. And cofactor of this one will be this side to the 4. Okay, then I think. Now, one thing remaining, I have to take transpose of that, then it will become equal to this one. So, this way or this way, whatever you like to do, we are getting the same thing. And I shall prefer this, this shortcut method because this method will help us to uh, save a little bit time and in examination each and every second is very important. So if you can save some moment in examination then it will be really really useful for you. Okay, so I have got a joint of M. Now let me find out what is the determinant of M. So to find the determinant of M, simply the our classical method, sine to the power 4 into cos to the power. So determinant of determinant of M is equal to sine to the power 4 theta cos to the power 4 theta. Then I have to multiply 1 plus cos square theta and minus of 1 plus sine square theta. While doing that, this minus will ultimately from the minus while calculating the determinant, they together will give us plus. So it will become 1 plus sine square theta into 1 plus cos square theta. Oh. See carefully one thing. Sine to the power 4 theta cos to the power 4 theta. This will remain as it was. And then this term, from this term, see 
1 into 1 is 1. 1 into cos square theta is cos square theta. Sin square theta into 1 is sin square theta. So I can write it as 1 plus this one is also actually 1. So 1 plus 1 equal to 2. 2 plus sin square theta into cos square theta. Same thing. Theta into cos square theta. Okay. So this is my determinant. Now it is a very tempting situation that not to convert one of this sine or cos into other. Like in several problems, this helps us a lot. But here we see that determinant, this one, is already so humongous. If we try to convert it into a single term, then it may be more complex here. So it is better for us to keep it as it is. Then I have here adjoint of m. So to find the m inverse, what I can do? I can simply divide by determinant of m. Okay. Now when I have got determinant, uh, I mean m inverse, and here I need this term, that is beta into m inverse. So beta into m inverse will become beta divided by determinant of a into entire matrix. And it is said to add alpha i with it. Alpha I means alpha into 1, 0, 0, 1. Therefore, it will become alpha 0, 0, alpha. Clearly. Okay. So, it is alpha i. Then I am adding alpha i here is, is alpha 0, 0, alpha. Now, now comes the next step. I have to find out the values of alpha and beta. How to do that? See, first, if I... Uh, focus on this 1 comma 2 position in this matrix also I am going to add these two and then I shall compare with this matrix from of this 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 is the 1 comma 2 position of the m matrix and m is equal to according to this one m is equal to this beta since I'm comparing I'm comparing the 1 comma 2 entry so here 1 comma 2 entry is beta divided by determinant of m into 1 plus sine square theta and it is 0 here so nothing will change anything I mean this one will not change anything and it is minus of 1 plus sine square theta 1 plus sine square theta okay so this 1 plus sine square theta term gets cancelled out therefore beta is equal to minus of determinant of a this one we have got so determinant of m which I wrote down here, it is actually, I'm getting beta is equal to minus of sine to the power 4 theta cos to the power 4 theta plus 2 plus sine square theta cos square theta. Okay. Next, I have to find out alpha. Now, clearly from this point, beta is equal to minus of determinant of m. Therefore, if I substitute here minus of determinant of m, then this one will become minus 1. This total term will become minus 1. Then it is minus of this. Now let me find out this alpha. How to find this one? Let us try with this 1 comma 1 position here. So 1 comma 1 position here in this matrix is alpha. 1 comma 1 position in this matrix is minus cos to the power 4 theta, minus cos to the power 4 theta, and 1 comma 1 position in this A matrix is sine to the power 4 theta, sine to the power 4 theta. Therefore, finally, I am getting alpha is equal to sine to the power 4 theta plus cos to the power 4 theta. Clear? I think so. Now, we are only halfway there. Because still a very big thing is to be done, and that is the value of alpha star and beta star. That is the minimum value of these two terms. Now, when we have talked about uh, this type of you know uh, minimum or maximum, we always come by a uh, common thought, and the thought is that let's apply calculus that is we shall differentiate it and after the after the differentiating when I get the derivative let's equate it with zero and let's find out the points where it is zero then put it 
in the second order derivative and if it is greater than 0 then it is minimum but here c i can do that for alpha and for beta i can differentiate it with respect to theta and i can uh, i mean follow all those procedures there is no problem with that but problem is actually there problem is that see terms are so large so there is no use there is no such use in you know in differentiating and doing all those steps so let us find out some other way let's start with alpha seeing the alpha can we find or can we can we see something familiar indeed it is here something and that is this formula of class 7 alpha a square plus b square and then it is equal to a plus b whole square minus 2 a b let's apply that because this is sine square whole square cos square whole square so when i am using this one now i shall get under this bracket in this bracket sine square theta plus cos square theta which will turn out into one we shall always try to simplify this thing okay we shall always try when i am getting when i am getting a, an opportunity to change this one into a you know known form then we should go for that let's do it now so sine to the power 4 theta plus cos to the power 4 theta it is sine square theta plus cos square theta according to the formula i have written here minus 2 into sine squared theta cos squared theta okay this one is one one minus two sine squared theta cos squared theta now take care of this entire function i mean uh, this entire expression when this one will give me a minimal value only when i shall subtract the maximum possible quantity from one isn't that so yes obviously it is so because if i subtract the maximum from this one then i shall get finally the minimum okay so let's find out the maximum value of this one again we shall not use calculus we shall use a little bit graphical idea to find out at which point this one becomes maximum okay. or we can do other thing i'm doing both of them i shall do both of them we can do one more thing see it is 2 into sine square theta cos square theta right i can write 2 into sine square theta cos square theta as half into 4 sine square theta cos square theta yes my friends they were thinking right i am going to this special formula sine theta cos theta whole square okay then this will become half of sine 2 theta and now we know the maximum value of sine 2 theta isn't it 1 therefore finally the maximum value of this quantity will become half half into 1 so half finally then it will become 1 minus half okay 1 minus half is equal to half i have done it then value of alpha star alpha star is equal to half clear now next let's find out the beta star see in case of beta things are little more bizarre here it is sine to the power 4 theta cos to the power 4 theta then plus 2 into plus 2 plus sine square theta into cos square theta okay let us apply the previous technique here also minus see i have to multiply here 1 by 2 to the power 4 that is 16 okay I have to multiply with 16. Then I shall get here 2 into sine theta cos theta whole to the power 4. And here plus 2 
plus again here 1 by 4 and this one will become 2 sine theta cos theta whole square. We all know that uh, even I did it also only a few minutes ago. This one will become sine 2 theta and the maximum value of is 1. Okay, one more thing. We have to find the maximum value of the entire expression here. Why? Because 1 minus is there in the beginning. Now, as I said before, minus of maximum is equal to minimum. Okay, so we are doing the same thing here. Then it will finally become, this is 1, so it will become minus of, under bracket, 1 by 16 plus 2 plus 1 by 4. Okay, this is 1 by 4 here. Now, finally it will become, okay, this one, uh, we actually what we do, we take the LCM of denominators and then we, we move as we are doing this. Uh, we can do something else here, see, it is 1 by 16. Maximum term in the denominator is 1 by 16, so we can do one thing. Let's multiply this term, this fraction with 4 in numerator and denominator. So this one will become 16, 4 by 16. And this one will become, it, it was 2, so it will become 32 by 16. Since I have multiplied with 16 on the numerator and denominator, actually what is the reason of, of doing this? So that I can make the denominator same. If I have made the denominator same, then what I shall get minus of? Denominator will remain the same and just add the numerators. So 32, 4 plus 1. So it is 37. Okay. Now I have got what was required. So finally, this is my beta star. The minimum value of beta, so alpha star plus beta star is equal to alpha star was of beta star is that is 7 by 16. Again, I shall use the same technique, it will be 8 by 16 minus 37 by 16, and this will become finally minus 29 by 16. Oh my goodness, this is 16. Okay, so this is option number. This is option number which are C. So C is the correct answer here. Okay. So this one was a single option correct question. In the next video, I am going to start with a double double I mean multiple correct question. Okay. Go through the problem again. Try to solve it by your own way, not just copy whatever I have done here. Try to do it by your own because I believe that a single mathematics problem can be solved by at least numerous process. Okay, so try to do your best. I hope that you guys are doing well and all those who are preparing for engineering entrances or who have, uh, you know, uh, you know, what a trust or I can say a deep interest for mathematics, they obviously should go through the videos that the videos I am making, especially the videos I am starting to make from today, this problem solving videos. Remember one thing, if mathematics is a literature language of science, then these problems are the literature of that language. Okay, so study the literature of mathematics, the problems, do more and more problems. Uh, if there is any doubt, obviously ask me and I shall solve those problems in some videos. Okay, so thank you. I will see you in the next video. Namaskar. No